Now very regularly customers get algae in their aquarium and we will suggest that the problem is phosphate. Then they will test the phosphate and they will often find a zero reading. And that can be because some phosphates, um, phosphate levels are too low for the test to pick up. So for example, that phosphate test kit there does not test anywhere near as low as this one. This one tests much lower. So sometimes it can just be that you have phosphate, phosphate is your problem, but the level is too low for the test kit to pick up. On the other hand, sometimes it is also the case that you can get a zero phosphate in every test that you test. But the problem is phosphate is actually quite complex and is not available in a single um, form. So phosphate is available in the aquarium in all different sorts of forms, orthoorganic, organic, ionic, um, calcium diphosphate, and only one of those are going to show up in the test kit. Other forms of phosphate, which cause algae, will not show up in the test kit. So sometimes you need to rely on what you see in the aquarium as opposed to relying on the tests because the tests may not be giving you a complete picture. Anyway, if you've got any other comments to add to this, then put it down the bottom of this video. And at the end of the day, if you are getting algae, all I basically do is use this particular product, Ultimate Aqua Care Phosphate Remover, and I just slowly up the level until the algae goes away. At the same time, I will tend to elevate magnesium. This is assuming, this bit's assuming you've got a coral reef tank, by the way. The phosphate will work on all sorts of tanks, but in a coral reef tank particularly, elevating the magnesium, alkalinity and calcium will also help to deter the algae, as will reducing the nitrate.